What's up guys, Antoine Webb here from Culture Matters. With us today is Mr. Matthew Victoria. Matt, your mortgage guy, MLB, residential lending. And we're talking about, you have been approved. Now what? Congratulations. <laughs> yes, congratulations in order. Don't screw it up. <laughs> How do we not screw it up, Matt? Well, I'm actually gonna give you guys a couple of uh, tips and pointers on what you should not be doing. Okay. Because we've talked about how to get ready for the mortgage. Right. But now what happens when you've been approved? What should you not do? Sometimes loan officers actually forget to give these simple yet important little tips. Okay. Number one, listen, don't quit your job. I actually had this happen to me before. <laughs> yeah. So when we pre-approve you, we actually pre-approve you based upon the employment that you have at the time. So any of these things can actually change your file. Okay. The reason why I say don't quit your job a lot of times I've had people that actually change their jobs because they've made more money, but sometimes it puts us back a little bit because we need pay stubs to verify your income. Right. right. And on top of that, they also have to do a verification of employment. So that can set you back to it. Okay. So don't quit your job. Or if you are going to do that, or don't, if you're going to change jobs, because we don't want you quitting, because if you quit, we can't, we're done. Yeah, you got to work. Right. Changing is okay, but just let us know. Right. See, a lot of times people do things and they're like, oh, I didn't think I needed to tell you. Okay, no problem. I'm just doing a mortgage for you. Yeah, right? sure. It's just getting your money. Right? <laughs> right. Number two, do not co-sign for anybody for anything. If you go and do that, that could also wind up changing your whole uh, your whole file. Because if you co-sign for somebody for something, mm -hmm. you are now obligated to that debt as well. Sure. So don't co-sign for anybody. I actually had a very interesting one where somebody had co-signed for his mother's boyfriend for a car. Okay. Now the guy paid the car but the car company never actually reported the payments. Oh, so it no. came up late when they went and did a, a refresh right before we were getting ready to close. Okay. Yeah, so he had three months, it, it made a lot of changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure. Hey. Um, don't open up new trade lines. So what commonly happens is they go and start looking at furniture or appliances. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got this really, really awesome deal. They're gonna give me 0% financing for 24 months. Right. Yeah, um, that's a problem because what happens is before we close, they do a refresh. Okay. They do a soft pull just to check for any new inquiries or any new trade lines. All right. That'll come up. Gotcha. I actually had somebody who did that and they weren't supposed to put it in until after the closing. Okay. They did and she had to come up with $13,000 to pay it off. I... Early. Wow. Yes. Wow. Don't go and throw a bunch of cash into your bank accounts. Because remember, we have to verify the assets that you actually have. So anything else that goes into there, yeah, that all of this will just change the gotcha. formulas. Gotcha. Another one, don't go and close any of your trade lines either because that can affect your credit score. Makes sense. Yeah. So just some basics. So don't quit your job. Or if you do change jobs, make sure you tell your loan officer. Yeah. Don't co-sign for anything for anybody. I actually had somebody who co-signed for an apartment and uh, we actually had to wait to do a mortgage for her too. Wow. Because she was obligated to the debt. Yeah, wow. Don't open up new trade lines. Don't, sir, uh, don't, did you say surplus? <laughs> don't surplus your bank account. <laughs> don't dump that money in there and get a surplus in that account. Leave it the way that it is. Or it has to be trackable. So okay. remember, everything in mortgages is a paper trail. Okay. So if there's anything that goes in there, we need to know where it comes from. So if you sell your car, we're gonna to need to go and show the underwriter, so we have to get like a bill of sale or something to that extent. Right. And then also don't close your trade lines because all of these things affect your credit. So we wanna make sure that once you get your mortgage and you've been approved, we wanna make sure that we keep that status. Yeah. That we don't have any negative changes and things like that. So anything, any of these kinds of things, there might be a few that I've forgotten, but I'm just trying to give you guys the basics on what to look for. Some of this is common sense. Sure. Not everyone maybe has not, it, but maybe you know, we, have, common. we know what happens. Right. But just think about it, if you are going to have any kinds of changes, talk to your, your loan originator and say, hey, listen, I'm going to be doing this. Is that a problem? Or if you're getting pre-approved and you know something's going to change, right. then let us know. If you're okay. going on an extended vacation, that's okay. another problem because how do we do a closing then right. if you're not here? Yeah. You would need to get a power of attorney as well. So these are just things like that to think about and let your loan officer know. Awesome. So guys... Anything monetary wise, you're thinking about chuck and jiving, moving some stuff around, hold the horses, pick up the phone, okay? Call up your LMO and figure it out.
before you go and start moving things around, okay? MLO, LMO, LMO, no, no. <laughs> now, MLO. MLO, so guys, mortgage loan officer, that makes sense, right? MLO, okay. Guys, check them out. Matt's your mortgage guy, all right? Matthew Victoria, where can we find you, Matt? You can find me online at mvictoria.mlbmortgage.com or you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram at Matt's your mortgage guy. Awesome. Guys, hope you got some great value. Culture matters. Mortgage culture matters. MLB residential lending culture matters. And Matt Victoria matters. So guys, check us out on the next one.